Hi guys and welcome to Thursday. Um, I've literally just finished doing the thumbnail uh, for the vlog that is going up today. Um, so, which was which is what happened on Wednesday. So today is obviously Thursday. Um, another jumper. So I'm keeping it fresh every day so far. Um, and yeah, so today is going to be hopefully a good day. Um, better than yesterday at least, mentally and uh, just generally. I'm going to be carrying on doing a bit more listing. Uh, I, I drafted a couple of items. I just want to build up a little backlog of drafts, a tiny backlog of drafts of items um, that I can just build on slowly um, as my focus starts to also go back to eBay and other things. As you can imagine, the shop has taken up so much time, uh, so much energy, uh, mentally, just thinking about it constantly, etc. Um, so, you know, it, I'm looking now towards the other things because one thing that Beck and I are both conscious of is this shop is not meant to replace what we do on eBay. It's meant to be in addition to what we do on eBay, which means at some point I need to get my RC store back up to a uh, good level and what RC slash now uh, toy store back up to a good level of performance. Whereas at the moment it's just kind of limping along. We're getting a few sales here and there. Um, we'll have the odd good week, um, but on average, we're happy if we're hitting £100 a day, uh, which is not enough. So we need to be doing a lot better than that. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you along with me, um, as I have done for the rest of the week, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to be um, drafting this today. This is my trusty Behringer mixer. I think I've got this now three or four years ago and it's still working but unfortunately it's developed a buzz, a buzzing sound uh, probably related to the power supply. I did buy a replacement power supply on eBay uh, to, to see whether it was just the power supply at fault um, and um, unfortunately I've had to return that because when I tried it it the, the fault was still there so the fault basically is even though it's functionally working this mixer is working fine um when you even when you don't have anything else plugged in apart from a set of headphones and if you turn the main selection up to zero um there is a buzz an annoying buzz that wasn't there before and i believe this did get picked up on our live stream last week so even though it's working um, it's faulty because of that buzzing sound. It's going to be irritating. So this is going to be sold for spares or repair on eBay. If this had been working, this would have fetched me back a really good amount. I think you can still get around £70 odd for these used uh, as faulty. I don't know, half that maybe. Um, I did get myself this. So this is going to be my replacement mixer. Um, with all that's going on with the shop, I've not even had a chance to take it out of the box yet which is a real shame but I got this for quite a bargain price on eBay eBay were doing one of those 20% uh, off deals and this is the Yamaha MG10 XU F the F version meaning it's got faders on it and I got this for 169 which is actually really good price a uh, really good price for a for a 10 uh, channel Yamaha mixer uh, really nice mixer it's got excellent reviews um, and I'm really looking forward to setting it up and it's meant to have really nice uh, preamps for the mic so really excited to set that up but at the moment it's not even getting a look in because I'm trying to be as productive as possible and this is going to make me more money listing that than playing around with that. Right I've just gotten it's just gotten past one o'clock and I've just had my delivery come through for um, some little bits that I ordered. Um, pretty cool um, got these little um, neomorph NECA scalers these are things that you connect onto your your earbuds and or they're just little collectible items really um, also got some of these just thought these would be nice for the shop it's like a Hulk and an Iron Man and you get a pair of earbuds with them as well um, again nice little kind of collectible or not collectible little knick-knacky type item I got these I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling these as well, probably will at some point, but I got some of these because I wanted to use these on display and wanted to see what they were like, so I only ordered a few, but these are NECA by NECA, these are like Vault Value Lock storage capsules, so they're basically 7 inch 
um, action figure display cylinders, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, got some of these. I like these living dead dolls, um, head knocker things. Um, and also, <laughs> these are this is quite cool. Um, some little Gotham figures um, from Kotobukiya. Um, very cool looking. They're just like little blind bags of um, little DC figures that you can collect. And one of my favourite things to arrive today is this set of Big Bang Theory stress dolls. Um, that would be quite cool. I think those would be quite nice little items to have in the shop. You've got the four main characters there. Um, Howie. How he looks actually pretty good considering it's just a stress toy. They they actually have a good likeness. Howard, sorry, no, that's Howie. Leonard, of course, Leonard. Um, and then Raj and Sheldon in his Green Lantern T-shirt. So that's quite cool. Now I can't unfortunately carry that lot down with me to the shop because I still don't have a car. But I'm good, so I'm gonna leave these here and. I'm going to get myself down to the shop, even though I still have a couple of items that are being delivered, such as a price gun, etc. But I thought I would still make my way down there because there's still some things I need to do, such as sort out the till um, and start inputting products into sum up, um, just to make life a little bit easier. It's not 100% necessary to be done, uh, but it will definitely make life easier. So yeah, I'm going to go over there and um, do that. And plus, I want to be there when the sign goes up. That's probably the real reason. <laughs> Right guys, so I'm back in the shop um, and this is where I honestly feel happiest and I don't know who sent me this yet but we're gonna, I'm going to save it until Beck gets home this evening and then we're going to open it together. This kind of thing is just amazing. Um, it's from Moonpig, so I'm guessing someone has sent us a card. I don't know how the postman found only cool stuff on Stoops Hall High Street Garstang. I don't know how they found it because there's no sign up. Uh, the windows have got window lean, you can't see in. But I, the postman knows, I think Andrew knows, so thank you for, for delivering this. And thank you for sending this. Um, yeah, and I'm going to show that later. So I'm back in the shop. I'm actually just more relaxed here, I feel, than I am at home. Um, we've got the price gun to be delivered but I thought I'd come in and get on with some of the more mundane tasks that need to be done. So I'm gonna sort out the till. Um, I've been meaning to do that all week. And then I'm gonna start on um, sorting out sum up and adding some products and prices to them. So hopefully once I've gotten that done, I'll update you guys. Right guys, uh, it's taken a bit longer than expected because I had a bit of a, bit of a hiccup where I reset everything on the till. Um, but I've got it looking as good as I'm gonna get it. The till is now all kind of set up, so we've got my name on there, Beck's on there as well, and we've got a few basic things, such as action figures, living dead dolls, statues, etc. But most of our um, stock is going to be like recorded, well everything's going to be recorded through sum up, uh, because it just allows us a lot more flexibility, and this is really going to just be for those occasions where someone needs a paper receipt. Well, I played it pretty cool when they put the sign up. But inside, I'm absolutely buzzing, kind of felt like giggling, I'm so chuffed. Sign is up, Beck hasn't obviously seen it yet, she's going to come out from work. Sign is up, but better than that as well, well not better than that, but equally as good. The scaffolding, scaffolding company have moved the scaffolding as well, so we've got no blockage in our doorway anymore. Um, you still have to mind your head a little bit definitely when you go out there. But I am absolutely thrilled that the scaffolding issue has been resolved as best as it can be. At the end of the day, it's going to be there while they do the work. But the, the sign is up. I'm going to show you the sign in a moment. Just, oh. Like, we're getting there. And we're, I just can't wait. It's Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. Can't wait. Can't wait. The scaffolding has been moved, which is brilliant. But even better than that, the shop sign is now up. I'm so pleased with this. There you go. Still a bit hidden by that scaffold, but can't have everything. I'm still very happy. 
Right, I'm definitely a bit too overexcited. I've just been to the shops to pick up some batteries uh, so that I can set up my um, set up the wall-mounted hand wash unit. I've come back and I've forgotten to buy any freaking hand wash to put in it, hand sanitizer to put in it. So back out. Luckily, I've got my razor branded mask, um, and I'm gonna just nip out and grab that because I I want to just get that up and running because it's like a small little thing and it's something that we can just tick off, you know, and be like, okay, hand sanitizer on the wall done. We can get some printouts, um, just to say the usual stuff, um, uh, you know, for safety, and that's um, just something done. I think it, customers expect it nowadays. I think when you go into a shop, you almost expect to see some hand sanitizer available. And here we have the hand sanitizer installed, filled up with a little bit of uh, hand sanitizer. So this is like 75%, which is kind of runny, but I think it works fine. And that's on the lower setting, so there you go, my hands are all wet. <laughs> my hands are all sanitized, actually. Evening, guys. Evening. As you can see, Rebecca is now with us. Yes. It is really late, it's nearly eight o'clock, and we've only just made it into the shop. I got out of work late. Beck is very happy with the the hand. It looks san so cute. <laughs> he really Such a cute hand sanitizer. And also, as per request, but um, and you guys in the chat were also saying this is better than having the cage that I did last time. Mm -hmm. So that's all been done. So the plan now is to do some kind of window display, um, and maybe apply those stickers that you wanted and stuff. Yeah. And just get something and get going on with the, the window. window. open, because yeah. we're opening Saturday. And no one can see what no the shop is what about doing, or so. anything. The sign's up, so we need to put so it... So we need to yeah. work on the, the, the display tonight, get yeah. the window lean off the, the door in the window. And then, um, yeah. Because we're going to be in here pretty much all day tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, so well, you I will are, be and then you'll join um, me. And then yeah. I'll join in the afternoon. Okay, before we do that though, um, do you want to grab that envelope, hon? Earlier today, when I f came into the shop, we were very surprised to see this envelope. Mm -hmm. We haven't opened it yet, so go for it. Open it up. Um, it was addressed to me at Only Horse Stuff, so yeah. really surprised. I've already gotten some mail, um, so we'll see who it's from. Do you want to open it up? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is freaking cool, right, whoever did this. Cool. That is so know. cool. It's got our shop logo. It says good luck Z and Bex with a bunch of stuff that we're selling. Yeah. And what's it on the back? On the back it says Hi top right. cards, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then who's it from? Who's it from? It's from Oh, oh Leanne. Leanne. Thank you. Yeah, Leanne. I really that really is gonna it. that is so that's cool. gonna take Thank pride so of place somewhere in that the is... store. I was so that is so sweet of you, Leanne. You know what? Um, I wanna I want to oh look, 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 look! <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so sweet, isn't that it? That is really sweet. All right. As is often said in many YouTube videos, two hours later, <laughs> we're still at the shop. Yeah. But we've done a lot. We've done a we lot. Have. We have done the shop window. Yeah. And and we've done some other bits like yeah. decals. We are yeah. gonna have to yeah. finish off tomorrow. We, there's still bits to do, but look, we, we've got cool. Big Bang Theory stress dolls. That's so super cool. That might move tomorrow. We might use them because we're feeling pretty stressed. <laughs> um, a massive shout out again to Leanne. Yeah. That means so much. Thank you, it Leanne. It really does. We're, we've been buzzing from yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm going to now just take you outside quickly. Um, just to show you, what, just to show you what we've done with the shop because, you know, it would be wrong not to. Here we are. It's pretty dark, so bear with us. But there is the shop window. Even though we live in Garstang, one of the quietest places we've ever, one of the quietest places we've ever lived in. Obviously, like. Ten cars had to drive past that bit. It was only three. It was three, but it's okay. But yeah, really loving the window. Um, you can see you've got the that there. Yeah, we've only put so, on like the Saturday because that's the only one we've that got. That there. On. Yeah. So yeah, right. Um, 
there's still plenty to do. I do have another lot of stock coming in, so mm -hmm. things are going to still be moving, a lot of moving, but we're really happy. We're feeling much more ready. Still we're going to price stuff up. To do, we? Yeah, you yeah, you're getting yeah, the yeah, the the things, yeah. You I'll get. You. This is where Beck gets really annoying and starts worrying about really things. She, she just kicked me in the shin, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm recording all this, so you know, in case we ever get divorced, I've got proof. Of... <laughs> Don't worry. Should I cut that or not? No, no. It was, it was a joke, bad joke, bad joke. Okay. Um, we're now gonna get a doner kebab. Yeah, because I'm tired and hungry. And I'm gonna edit this video. Thank you, everybody, for sharing our journey yeah. so far. And thank you for all the yeah. comments and yeah. just people watching and liking the video. Tomorrow's and, Friday. Yeah. Busy day tomorrow.